it's me, JC, back with another ceramic hour. Um, um, okay, I think we're just <laughs> uh, we're just gonna work on our mug because we we just need to get that done and like out of the way. Um, I kind of need to check on how this stuff is. Oh, okay, this is pretty nice. Maybe. Okay, let's like, I know this isn't like the most exciting thing, but it's important to be checking on your stuff, all the different projects that you have going on at the time. So, let's make, so this is my Reclaim Clay. It's like, um... So what I do with the Reclaim is, um, well, I save up all the scraps until my bowl gets, like, pretty full. And then I just add a bunch of water to it until it just, like, covers it, like, um, just, like, a tiny bit it's covering it. Um, and then, um, then I just kind of wait and like sometimes I like stir it around every few days or so. Um, and then just I'm basically waiting um, for it to soak in all of that water and just making sure that it gets like everywhere. Um, because some of the pieces that I will throw into the reclaim might be um, really large. Most of them are just like trimming scraps. So um, those ones are really easy to like uh, make sure that they're like taken care of. But the other things like if you just like throw in like I try to avoid just throwing in like a chunk of bone dry clay. Or, some, or just like throwing in a chunk in there that will become like bone dry. Sorry, my, <laughs> I have my washer going and it's going to be kind of annoying. Um, I don't know how often it goes off like that. I didn't know it'd be done so soon. Okay, um, done. <laughs> it's like never done when it says it's done. Um, okay, let me just kind of squish this up and finish what I was saying. So then I just wait for all of that clay to like grab that water. Um, and then when it's like, um, maybe like, I don't know like how to describe like how dry it is. Um, like, not like very dry. Um, but you want, I don't know. <laughs> you, I mean, I think generally you don't want it to be too goopy um, if you are scooping it out of like, so I have my reclaim over there in that casserole dish. So I scoop it out and then I put it onto my wear board, which, is, which has canvas on it. Um, and basically when I scoop it out and I throw it on here, it keeps the shape. Like, it's not so, like, watery that it is, like, flattening and, like, spreading out or anything. Like, um, this is, like, how, this is how it dried. Like, it, how it, I threw it down and then it just stayed like that. Um, so now I'm just, like, I had that sheet covering it. The bottom here is a little bit drier than, um, over here. <sighs> Um, and it's like, see, so like when I touch it, it's not sticking to me so much. Um, and that means it is pretty good to be just like, like it doesn't have to sit there anymore. Um, if it sat there any longer, it would be, it would get like pretty dry. Um, so we have some like good amounts here I'm, I'm sorry I, I know this is like not that exciting but like I just need like take care of this before they um before these lumps like 
like especially when they're like um kind of like wisping out like this little corner here and this like those are gonna dry out so much more than like the center area and I just don't want to get too dry and it's really important to just like keep an eye on all your stuff <clears throat> But these are all good and these can go like um, in some plastic and then chill there and until we are ready to use it. <clears throat> what is the plastic that I have? I guess I'll just use, I can use the mug plastic. So here's our mug. I'm not doing too bad. I need to like cut this. Yeah. Um, I think I'll do that. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just gonna like throw these over here off to the side into this plastic. And then we will like, I don't know, use those later. Cool. Okay, and we have a little bit of mold over here where they were sitting. Um, a little hard to see um, with my stuff here. But, um, <clears throat> so it's really easy to clean that up. I'll just like, I'll just get like a tiny bowl, um, fill it with half water, half vinegar. It really doesn't need to be like very much at all, just like a, a tiny, tiny bit. And then just like soak up my sponge in there and then I'll just kind of like wash over it. And the vinegar is gonna kill um, kill that mold. And then we'll be all set. <clears throat> and then, um, let me just move this a little bit. Okay, let me just turn off the dryer because it's going to be like beating and stuff, so I'll be right back. Okay, let's check out the handle. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to this just because we don't want it to dry out. Okay, <laughs> I think we are nearly, we're like closing in on being done with this. I think I'll like move this. Maybe, I don't know, maybe like this. We got some tools. Okay. This kind of needs to be like. Yeah, I think I'll just carve it like this. I think for the most part, we can do a lot of the carving on the outside. Um, to me, it just looks like that little bump there is kind of like happening more on the inside though. So I guess that's kind of like where I'll trim it. It's so much easier to carve it from the outside though. So that's why we've been like mostly doing that. And um, after I kind of like adjust this little spot here, I think we'll go back to doing that. 
just like carve the top of this. I don't know. I just kind of like I just jump around all over the place. Um, I just kind of I don't know. <laughs> Just, like, do whatever I feel like um, needs to be done. Sometimes I, like, I might forget. So I tend to just, like, jump in and do something where I'm like, oh, I might forget to do this. Like, I need to do that. <laughs> um, so, that's, I don't know. That's kind of, like part of it but I don't know I'm gonna try to do like the outside and I really want to so right now I'm like focusing on like doing the rim just trying to get it to be a consistent width all the way around um, at least starting at the top here um, so that it like appears to be and then I think I'll move back down towards the bottom of of the mug um, and then work on the width there um, I'm gonna sharpen this real quick grinding stone that I'm trying to use to sharpen it. Okay, this is like quite a bit better. Okay, it doesn't need to be like perfect, but I really, I don't know. I'm like, I'm trying to make it look like really nice. And just like, I don't know, I'm just like trying to make it like even.
Okay, this is looking pretty good. Mm, I should take the flat tool. Okay, I feel like... Yeah, I feel like the bottom part is like so much thicker than the rest of it. Maybe I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I think I might switch over to back to the other tool that I have going on. It's kind of like, I don't know. I don't really like how it's leaving like all these lines. Maybe this will like help with that. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, I feel like it's like really thick in this area. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, it's like pretty thick at the bottom, still. Okay, I think I'll just like set this on the edge here. Do this. Hmm. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> or maybe, should I go from like top down? Maybe we'll, okay, maybe we'll do this. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, like, <laughs> to when you're carving stuff. I would prefer if I wasn't making a huge mess, but, you know. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I'm so tired. I need like a coffee or something. I don't know. I think it's like the I don't know. <laughs> I I want to say it's like daylight savings. <laughs> That's why I'm so tired. I'm sorry. I'm not really like talking that much because <laughs> I'm like <laughs> I'm like zoning out and I'm like so out of it right now. Um yeah, I think it's the like daylight savings maybe. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Let's take a quick intermission and I will show you my new bunny. <laughs> Just because, like, I've shown you guys Emmy because sometimes she pops up in our videos. But I just got a little baby bunny um, over the weekend. And they are, um, they're, like, bonding. So they're in this little box together. So there's Emmy, the gray one. And then the little baby, that's baby Queso. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love staring at them. <laughs> All day. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay. <laughs> Back to work. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, I just like, we're at the mall. And we went to the pet store and I was like, oh my god. Like that is the cutest little baby bunny. He is, um, you might notice he looks a little bit different from Emmy. Um, Emmy is a Netherland dwarf, and Queso is, he, well, this is what they say. I don't really, I don't really trust like pet stores like all that much, but they say that he is half Netherland dwarf, half lion head. Um, and, like, as a rabbit person, like, I can tell he has, like, he has lion head going on, so I definitely see that in him. Um, hopefully the other half is something small, um, preferably what they said, Netherland Dwarf. <laughs> um, but, I don't know, he's just so cute, and I was just like, oh. <laughs> Um, I've had Emmy for a couple years and I've always felt bad that she's been living alone. Um, like, rabbits are kind of like, they're supposed to, they're not like really like solitary animals. Um, and that does like, it, it differs on like, the um kind of rabbit that you're talking about like the ones that you see out in the wild here in the u.s um those ones are like um those ones are more solitary um but that's not the same as like where like like, if you were, like, a rabbit breeder or, like, you know, like, like, a domesticated rabbit are not branching from that, that type. Um, they're branching from, like, um, like, European rabbits, which are more, like, social. Um, and they're just kind of, like, they're just happier to have a friend and I've, I've, like, felt, like, really bad that Emmy has not had a friend um, in the, like, few years that I've had her. Um, I got her as, like, not quite a baby. <laughs> she was kind of, like, uh, like, teenager-ish in rabbit years. She was kind of teenager-ish. Um, and... 
um yeah so I don't know I've just like felt like really bad and um I'm not sure what the entire plan is <laughs> for their housing situation but um right now we are working on bonding them um the kind of cage I have for her um I well I wouldn't really say it's a cage it's a lot bigger than what most people would um think of for like a rabbit cage I don't know what to call it I call it a playpen um and it's like you can add more um more to it um it's kind of like flexible in that way in that you can like change the size and like um kind of the shape it's definitely gonna be like square or rectangle but you can like change that shape by how many um panels and stuff that you have so <clears throat> um I think that'd be like easy in that way to just like get more panels and like make it bigger if we need to He's just an itty bitty baby right now, so, um, so I don't think he needs anything too big, um, but I just, like, felt bad that Emmy's been alone this whole time, and, like, I've had, like, a picture of, like, in my head of what I want, um, her buddy to be, um, which has always been baby queso. <laughs> Like, I just, I just, like, thought that name and was, like, that would be, like, the cutest name, um, for her little boyfriend or buddy, um, and I always wanted, like, well, I was picturing, like, a Netherland dwarf, but, um, but I was, I've been picturing, like, one that's, like, white and gold, like, how he is, just because that'd be really cute. I mean, or maybe, like, a gray one that matches Emmy, or, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. That's what I've been picturing. It doesn't have to be, like, exactly that, but that's what I've been picturing, and then I saw him, and I was, like, oh, my God. <laughs> I was, like, that is just, like, that's him, and <laughs> I called my mom. My mom's, like, no. That's, she's, like, you don't need another rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> and then um I asked my partner and he's like I don't know he's like it seems like a good idea because like he was googling it while we we're at the mall and a lot of people say that you really should have like more than just one because they are social um and I was like what do you think and I was like uh <laughs> And I don't know, we just, like, he he thought it, he thought, like, it would be a good idea as long as, like, we can get them to bond, like, before you can just, like, throw them into a living space together. A lot, similar to, like, a lot of animals. Um, not quite so much with dogs. I think dogs, you can just bring a dog home and kind of <laughs> just be, like, deal with it. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I don't know. I think dogs aren't so bad, but, like, cats are, like, you're not really, you're supposed to, like, introduce cats and stuff. Like, they're gonna have a problem <laughs> if you just bring a new one home and you're not, like, introducing them. So, rabbits, you're supposed to, like, introduce them and stuff. So, that's what they're doing right now is they're just kind of sitting together, uh, <clears throat> in their box Okay, so it's very chill. Um, I got to hold him at the um, at the mall, um, <laughs> at the pet store, and he's just like he's just he was just like sitting there, like literally not doing anything. <laughs> and that's like at least like from having him and like holding him for a few days. We got him on Saturday. <laughs> he's just been like chill he just like sits there he's like yeah whatever I guess <laughs> um so I, th I don't know I think that works with Emmy Emmy is like 
I mean, it's like a little bit on the wilder side. Um, this whole time she's been trying to escape. <laughs> she's just like, dude, we need to get out of this box. And he's just sitting there like, but why? <laughs> and she's just... <laughs> Like, he's just like, whatever. He's like, I don't know. It just seems kind of like almost like the opposite. Like, you would think the older one would be like chilling and like be like, nah, it's nap time or something. But he, he he's just a little baby and he's like, bruh. He's like, we need to sleep. That's what we should do right now. And she's just like, no. They're so cute. Um, so, um, yeah, I've been kind of busy with that over the weekend. Um, I think it was like, I think it was like Thursday that I, um, that I did some clay stuff. Um, I'm gonna have tomorrow off of work, so. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. Um, maybe? I'm not really sure. Um, I feel like these are not super exciting because I'm like, I'm trying to get like this other stuff done, the other projects that we have over here done before we start just like another project. <laughs> just because like, it's really hard to like, have all these um, sitting here and, like, um, kind of, like, at different stages and stuff, um, and, yeah, I don't want, like, too much going on. Um, I don't know, I'll have to, like, decide. I might just cancel the stream tomorrow, but, I mean, I don't have any, like, specific plans. I'm just trying to get some, um, Get a little bit of time off work before it gets into our crazy season. Um, <clears throat> yeah, because we're coming up on to... We're coming up to uh, Black Friday stuff at work. And that's when it gets, like, crazy busy. Like, it's crazy busy um, when the sale starts. And then, um, and then like... I don't know. I feel like it doesn't, like, the crazy doesn't end for, like, a couple months after, maybe. Because um, then, like, because then we're going into holiday season and people are taking time off to, um, <clears throat> you know, spend time with family or just, or just get in their, like, winter break. Um kind of a thing and then it's like not like everybody's staggered it's like half the team's on half the team's off it gets just like a little crazy in that aspect of like um people that are actually like there <laughs> to do work so um yeah it's gonna be a couple it's gonna be a little bit until um, till work cools down, so I'm just gonna, I don't know, <clears throat> maybe I can finish these turtles tomorrow, that'd be nice, um, I showed you guys the tur- so I have three going on right now, <sighs> um, these little sandbox turtles, um, so the two are, like, basically done being carved, um, and then I need to roll out two more uh, shells for, like, the top. They're kind of like containers. So, like, the top goes onto the turtle. Um, <clears throat> so I need to roll out two more of those. And then I have one shell, but it's not, like, carved, really. So I'll have to do that. Um... Maybe I will do that. I should. I really need to do, like... <laughs> and they've been sitting there for... I don't even know how long. I think they've been sitting there for over a month. 
<laughs> from like when I started it. But like I don't want to put them on the stream because I w- I started like recording the process so that I could make it like its own video on YouTube. So I need to like do the footage differently for those. Um otherwise <laughs> That would be nice if I could, like, if I actually put something different into the stream. Um, I don't know what our next project could be. Um, maybe we'll do a little bit less slab building. I've, we've been doing a bit of slab building, and um, I'm not, like, the best at it. I just, I feel like I'm just struggling the whole time. Um... So maybe we'll do something else. Um, maybe we could do like, I don't know. I have like a whole Pinterest um, thing full of stuff, full of ideas. Um, since, um, okay, so last video, um, I showed you guys, I bought, like, a bunch of new glazes, um, I'll definitely need, like, maybe, like, some smaller projects to try those glazes on, um, because I think I'm just gonna be really impatient and not, like, I don't, I'm, like, I'm thinking about the amount of test tiles I'm going to have to make, which I have no idea how many that is, but I know it's a lot. <laughs> like if, so if I had the number of test tiles for all of the glaze combinations I could do right now, it's like a lot. I haven't even finished like making the test tiles that I had like listed out previously like before I bought a bunch of new glazes <laughs> I didn't even like finish that like um I don't know I think I might just end up making some pinch pots or something <laughs> instead of the test tiles Maybe. I don't know. It's just, I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm just really overwhelmed with the amount of, like, combinations that we could do. Um, you know, something I didn't have the last time that I actually made the test house was actually my wheel. So, I mean, you can really do, you can make test house any way that you want. Whatever works for you. Um, I was taught, um, in my classes to do, like, a little stand-up one, um, like this, um, and then what I do is, well, this one happens to have, like, the clay, the clay body here, white salmon, and then under it I have the, um, the name of the glaze, um, but... What was I saying? Um, you can, I mean, you can really, there are so many different ways you can make test tiles. This is just like, I think it makes the most sense for me um, because um, some people will just do like a flat tile, but I don't know. I think that would be kind of confusing if I try to take it to the studio and be like, yeah, just like, lean it up on something so that it like it's flowing down or something some people will just do like a flat tile like this but it really it's not showing you like the movement that can happen especially with combinations like they can move a lot um and then this kind of like gives you somewhere where it can drip down onto you safely I just, I don't know I think this just works for me um and there are like so many I don't know people have a bunch of different things some people want a hole at the top so they can hang it on a nail 
in their studio or like put it on a key ring kind of a thing. Um, I'm sh- I think you could Google the types of like test tiles there are. This is like, I think this is like one of the most like basic like ones <laughs> that I think a lot of people might do. Um, and then I just store them like this in um, my drawers that I have. I have like these Ikea drawers and they're really big and they fit a lot of these in there. <sighs> anyway, um, so y- you can, um, so this was hand built. I just had like this little piece here and then this piece here and then did an attachment um, to it. But it's actually a lot faster if you do, if you make this on the wheel, you just make, um like a bowl basically and then this is like you know this is the wall but then it has like this little bit hanging out um like on the inside or on the inside and the outside of it and then you just cut them into you just like cut along that huge like bowl thing that you threw um so I could, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> maybe that wouldn't be so bad because that would be like a lot faster, um, than like, um, I don't know, just like rolling them out because it's like, it's so much to like roll out these like huge slabs and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's just really overwhelming. There's a lot. Um, but the test tiles are really nice um I think I'll just do it anyway um but the good thing about this and like having brush on glazes is that you can do two different types of things on the front and back so uh so one thing I'll do is I will like I'll layer them exactly um so well this one is just a single glaze on here but if it was like a combination um, I would layer like both of them at the exact same like amount and then the other one I'll layer the second one just a little bit higher than the other one just to like I don't know see what it looks like when it peeks through because um, sometimes the bottom one will peek through um, whatever and then I can use the side here to mark off like where I placed um, where I put the glazes to see how much they ran. And then I just do that in an underglaze. Um, that one's pretty light, but you can see it. I think it's an underglaze. I don't know, whatever. I just like mark it on the side there where it was and then um, how much it moved. This one did not move like at all really. Um, and that's just really good to know. <laughs> Um, so, I don't know, um, <laughs> I don't know if, like, making test tiles would be, like, too boring for you guys. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, carving a mug for, like, I don't know how long we've been carving this mug. <laughs> it was probably boring. <laughs> But I don't know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do the chest tiles in a video or something. Um, maybe, or I don't know, maybe, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Maybe we could do a test tile video. Like, I'll show you guys, like, <clears throat> the process that I have. I do have some where it's, like, um, mm, I don't know, um, Let me think. <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess, like, I have some that I know I don't quite want to do yet. I've had some trouble with some of the glazes not really turning out how they're supposed to. So I'll just kind of, like, hold off on those ones. Um, you know? Um, like, I have this one um, soft pink. That one turned out better um, than the test tile. Like, I, did, I tried it a second time, and I made it, like, 
the coating um, thicker. Um, like, I think I did, like, four coats, or maybe I did, like, three, like, really thick coats. Um, and then it turned out better than the original test towel that I had of it, but, um, I think I'm gonna be weird and I'm gonna, like, carve this sideways, because I can kind of, like, see, like, how much it's, like, bowing and stuff. <sighs> um, but that one, it's, like... I don't know, I'm, before I actually, like, go ahead with making, like, the test style combinations for it, like, I want to figure that one out, um, before I start doing that, you know, um, so there are some that aren't quite ready for that, or, like, I don't know, maybe it's just, Maybe I'm just gonna have to, like, scrap it or something, or, like, I don't know. <laughs> so I wouldn't really want to take all that time to, like, create all these test towels for its combinations if I'm, like, kind of not sure about how it's going. So I I'm gonna, like, hold off on that. And then, um, I don't know, just kind of... <clears throat> Maybe, like take a look at my list and see what I have going on. Um, we have quite a few that have been glazed and are ready to go into to our next firing. Um, so we have even more that are just about done. Um, I don't know. Maybe that would be like a good a I don't, okay, I don't want to say cool, but I don't know, maybe that would be, like, a good video. It's, like, different test tiles that you could do. <clears throat> like, it really doesn't matter, like, how you do it. It's just kind of, like, it's just a preference thing, really, on, like, what works for you. Emmy is trying to escape. She's like, we need to get out of this box. <laughs> like, yesterday. <laughs> That's just... <laughs> In case I was just sitting there sleeping. <laughs> no, they, ha they haven't been in the box since yesterday. They're just like... I put them in there, like, a couple hours ago. Um, <laughs> anyway... <laughs> I don't know maybe that would be like a, a, a video idea um just to show you the I don't know different options or something different ways people do that working on any other videos quite yet so when we we're doing the glazing I got a bunch of footage that we could do like voiceover stuff with but I haven't like actually like so I have that like stuff filmed but I don't quite have like um any solid ideas for like voiceover videos with it yet um I need to work on that. I really just have like the turtle video. Um, do I have anything else? <clears throat> um, okay, I think that was it. Just like the glazing. Um, footage and then the turtle footage I think <clears throat> I 
I was planning there. Um, I have a few thoughts on some other videos. Um, This thing's getting like really like it's really dry. think of like maybe like other how-to things um I guess like I don't know like it seems like everybody really liked the like how to make a paint palette video that I made which I don't know I feel like I feel like that is pretty straightforward No. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to like whoops. <laughs> I have to kind of like maybe like explore and like see what kind of things other people are making videos about or something. Um There are obviously like some things that are like kind of like um, clay basics, like stuff like, um, I don't know, like, <laughs> like um, stuff like uh choosing a clay body or like like kind of like the basics of like um the different firing types it's i don't really like i don't know for some of that if i'm like the best person to be like talking about that <laughs> um like I don't know. I mean, me personally, I don't really understand why people do low fire. Um, I mean, I guess like energy cost, but like, is that the only reason? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I guess like, I don't know. I guess I could like try to research it and see what I can find. Um, the only reason I do mid fire is because that's all I have access to. Like as someone that does not like own a kiln like you don't really find like any studios doing anything else they all do mid fire so that's like that's the reason why I do mid fire so it's like I don't know <laughs> or like universities like always do high fire and I'm like I don't know why do they always do high fire <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't really feel like I am the best person to, like, explain, like, some of those things, or, like, I don't know, or, or like, the details about, like, why you would choose, like, one clay body over the next. I mean... To some extent, you just need to grab something and, like, I don't know, just, like, see how it works for you. <laughs> um, and 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't feel like I am the best for, like... I don't really feel, like, that good about, like, trying to, like, describe that kind of stuff. Um... I don't know. I have to kind of like think of some things that I could explain. But it's like, I don't know. I feel like if I could explain it, like a lot of other people could also do that too. Like, I don't know. I just like, <laughs> to, like, I don't really know like what to do. Um, like, to like for making other types of videos um that would that would be stuff that like nobody else is doing that like I don't know like you know I made like I made a how to make a pinch pot video and it's like there are a million videos like how to make a pinch pot like but like I don't know I don't know what to do I don't know like what I could like explain that like nobody else has made a videos on I mean I don't know I <laughs> um, let me spray the bottom of this it's just like so dry I just wanted to like um spray some water on it uh, oh well we're kind of like almost done here anyway um I will have to do some thinking and see <laughs> um, what, I don't know, it's kind of like, it's like some kind of, um, some other ideas or something about, <clears throat> about what we could make some videos on. Um, maybe we could do, like, um, the pinch pot thing, um, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I could do, like, some basic stuff, um, like I mean I don't know um like you don't have to be like any kind of like an expert or anything to like do ceramics like you don't have to know like obviously like I don't <laughs> um like you don't have to know like all the things to just get started um I mean obviously it's good like for you to know things like later on to help you make decisions like what type of you know like how high of a firing you want to do and like why you would choose one over the other you know if you wanted to do like I don't know like explore at some point I think like getting started like you can obviously like just um well it depends on like where how you're firing like if you own a kiln or not I mean you probably you probably shouldn't own a kiln if you don't know how to like if you've never done ceramics I feel like that is like I, I think that would be odd <laughs> unless someone like someone just gave you one um <laughs> like, most likely, if you are, like, new to ceramics, you don't have a kiln. <laughs> and you're probably gonna fire in a studio. Um, I could, like, yeah, I could, like, talk about that. I don't know. I'll have to do some thinking. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, like, I'm so, like, I get kind of perfectionist-y about... When I'm trying to teach stuff, I'm like, I need to know all of the things um, before I make 
make a video on it or something. And I don't know. I just want to, like, do my best and, like, I don't know. I don't, like, I don't want to, like, disappoint. <laughs> Um, okay, well, I will have to do some thinking and figure out, like, I don't know, some other videos that we could make that are not for, that are not live stream ones. Um, so, yeah, well, um, we, uh, have to go now. Our time is up. I have to go back to work. And, um, yeah, um... I have not decided if I'm going to stream tomorrow or not. Um, I'm going to try to decide that today. Um, and then if I cancel it um, or move it, I'll put an announcement like in the Twitch banner. Um, so you guys <laughs> know. Um, so uh, yeah, so if you're watching here on Twitch, thank you for joining. Be sure to follow along so you know when I am online and all that. Um, check out my YouTube at Callie and Co. Um, that is where I put all of the uh, stream, uh, the ceramic hour stream videos um, because they kind of, they like get deleted off of Twitch after a week. So we have all the other videos on YouTube. And then, like I said, we have other videos like uh, ceramic tutorials, small business uh, related, or just like there's some other videos on there that are kind of like, um, like general art related kind of things. Um, so yeah, be sure to subscribe and check that out. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for watching and I will see you later. All right, bye.